Hi, Dr. Tanoi, gastroenterologist. Uh, I want to share one patient today. Uh, he came and see me for an incidental finding of an elevated GGT, gamma GT. So when there are people that go for health screening, and the health screening test down in one test, which is a good thing for some. And for this gentleman, he's in his 50s, his gamma GT is elevated. A normal gamma GT should be up to 50. His gamma GT is about 200, and the rest of the liver function is normal. So when the patient with high gamma GT, many things run through my mind. If the patient have liver cancer, a liver problem, a liver abscess, gamma GT can go up. So we ask him any tummy pain, any risk factor of liver cancer, or any fever to associate a liver abscess kind of thing. He said nothing. The second thing to consider is fatty liver. Well, this gentleman, we look for anything called the metabolic syndrome, which is the body mass index, diabetes, hypertension, lipid dyslipidemia, high uric acid, low HDL uh, cholesterol. We look for all these factors. This gentleman actually none of the above. The third is uh, uh, something blocking the bowel duct, such as a gallstone or even pancreatic cancer. He had no pain, he's not jaundiced. The rest of the liver panel from his GP actually is so normal. So it's a bit unusual. The next one would be medication. Certain medication cause high gamma GT, such as steroid, and a certain neurological medications, seizure or fit medication may cause that. So I asked him, are you on any medication? He said, no. Then I was scratching my head. And last but not least, alcohol. Alcohol can also induce a gamma GT to be up. And typically, it's high gamma GT with the rest of the liver test being normal. This is something like his case. And of course, uh, there's no sure proof test to test for alcohol. If you think of using, say, a, a breath analyzer like the traffic police, then you may be wrong because uh, that only tests for the alcohol co uh, content in the blood at that particular moment. For pe people that drink a lot of alcohol, uh, the, 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 the breath test will be negative if they haven't been drinking for the last, say, uh, 6 to 10 hours. But uh, people that drink a lot of alcohol, more than 14 drinks a week, often uh, gamma GT can go up. So, but when we approach the subject of, uh, gum, of alcohol with patient, we need to be very careful. Sometimes a couple came in, the husband drink on a regular basis, the wife didn't know. So when I ask in front of them, I say, do you drink a lot of alcohol? The son would say no. I mean, the, the husband would say no. Then the mother would say no. I mean, the, the wife would say no, no, my husband doesn't drink. But you don't know, okay? Only the person to drink will know. So we pre I prefer to see the patient on his own alone without any family member, and they can be honest. And for this particular case, he told me, yeah, doctor, I drink a little bit. Okay, one or two drinks a day. And we know as a hepatologist that we see a lot of people having alcoholic liver problem. Almost always, they will under-declare, okay? Alcohol is not something that they want to boast about. They want to brag about, say, oh, I drink uh, a 100, uh, I, drink two, I drink a bottle of whiskey at night. No, people don't boast about that. It's not something that they are very proud of in front of the doctors. So I did really ask it tactfully, okay? So, so this particular gentleman, fortunately, he was very honest with me. He said, oh, actually, I think I drink more than 14 drinks, probably maybe much more than that on a regular basis. So, oh, okay, so then I explained, that may be the reason that why you're having high gamma GT. Of course, because of the follow up of, uh, uh, possibility, I still want to do a scan to make sure there's no fatty liver, there's no liver cancer, there's no gallstone. And uh, I asked him to, what we call the do something called we call D challenge. That means stop drinking completely as much as you can. Repeat the liver test two weeks later. Gamma GT is very sensitive to alcohol. If you have been drinking a lot and gamma GT go up, you just have to stop drinking for two weeks. Gamma GT will drop. So well, we'll see, okay? But it is the important point is gamma GT got many possibility. We can keep surging even off a liver biopsy. And more importantly, if you have a gamma GT, you see your doctor, do be very honest. If you don't drink alcohol, don't drink. If you take any herb, any over-the-counter medication, any supplement, any medication, please show your doctor all these because some of them may cause a high gamma GT. And if you do drink alcohol, do tell the doctor, the doctor why, I, my gamma GT is high, I understand it can be alcohol, I confess that I do drink more than 14 drinks of alcohol a week. They say, hey, that really solved the problem. And then we de-challenge and repeat the liver test two weeks later confirm if it's alcohol the moment they stop drinking gamma GT will plunge and then we can make a diagnosis and how we take care of alcoholic liver disease tough but maybe we can talk about it in future posts this is Dr. Desmond Wayne